Hey everyone, Sarah from Savage Disney Pins. It's been a while since we filmed a pin mail video and I have a lot to show you. I wanted to take a quick second and check in with everybody. We're still in the middle of this global pandemic. It's scary out there. Pin trading and pin sales have really helped me get through all of this. You are gonna notice I'm not wearing gloves in this video. I already pre-opened everything and wiped everything down and sanitized everything. So I wanna make sure that everybody is staying safe and healthy out there. Let's do this. This bucket contains Facebook trades, Instagram trades, Instagram sales, and even a Shop Disney order. And I am su super stoked about all of it. So let's get started. So the first thing I got was a four pin set for the 40th anniversary of The Empire Strikes Back. If you've watched any of our other videos, you know that this is um, not for me. These were definitely for Rocky, but they're really cool. They are a limited edition of 500 and they were from Target. I don't know how often Target does limited edition pin sets. It might be something new that they started doing because they just implemented Disney stores inside the Targets. So maybe we'll see more Target exclusive pin releases because these are pretty darn cool. Okay, this next one is a Facebook trade. And I was, I was talking to this woman, her name is Jeanette. She owns an antique shop. She told me that she liked to throw in a couple little extras. And I was like, okay, what's this gonna be? I'm curious. And it's some really cute stuff. First, the trade. I sent her the Ariel Animator doll pin in return for the Jasmine. And then these little extras are so cute. A little Vinylmation guy? I don't know, I don't know who it is. These are funny looking and he's so cute. And then she also threw in this pack of Little Mermaid trading cards. I want to open it, but I also don't want to open it. Let's take a vote. Open yes or no, comment down below. If you want to see what's in this pack, let me know. And if I have enough people, I'll open it. If not, it's going to be like, Schrodinger's box. We don't really know what's in there. This was a really exciting day. I got the April Minnie Mouse main attraction pin set and mug. This month's pin set is Small World and it's adorable. I love Small World. I know it gets a bad rap. I think it's a super cute ride. I fell asleep on it once. We were on our honeymoon, very long days, and it was so hot outside, and we went on it, and then we got stuck, and we were stuck for like a half hour, and I just conked out. Okay, let's get real for a second. I am still desperately searching for the March Minnie Mouse main attraction pin set. Let me know if you have it for trade or sale. This next Facebook trade was really cool. I came across this series a few weeks ago, kind of by accident in a different trade and fell in love with the set. So now I'm working on completing the whole set. It is a monthly series that came out in 2008 called The Scoop. And each pin has a backer card that looks like a newspaper called the Main Street Gazette. And Mickey Mouse is playing a character whose name is Scoop Sanderson, reporter for the Main Street Gazette. And what I really like about this pin set is all the backer cards have information and little tidbits about the attraction that's on the pin. I also looked this up and I found out that the artist's name is Chris Chapman and he has done some really cool stuff. So these are both LE 2000s. The Star Tours pin came out in August and the Thunder Mountain pin came out in November of 2008. Runaway train with a view. While exploring aboard Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, my fellow passengers and I enjoy many startling surprises. The most pleasant discovery is that the surroundings are reminiscent of Monument Valley, Arizona, one of the scenic wonders of the great American Southwest. That's a scoop. Up next, we have a super awesome Facebook trade. We traded four pins. Um, I always like trading more than one when possible, just because shipping and all that kind of stuff. So it's really nice when you can trade a couple and four is great. Okay, this first pin is an Ursula pin. 
It's from a 2012 booster pack that was released at Disneyland and Walt Disney World, and it contained seven Little Mermaid pins. The next two pins are both Haunted Mansion pins, and I'm, and I love them both. They're so cute, so cute. This was a mystery box set. Um, they came two pins per box, and they all had these super cute little backer cards with them. And this one is Huey, Dewey, and Louie as the band members inside Haunted Mansion. The next one is a limited edition of 1500, came out in January of 2009, and it has Mickey, Goofy, and Donald as the hitchhiking ghosts, part of a Walt Disney World e-ticket attraction series. The next was another Facebook trade. We have a Mally comic strip from the Villains comic book mystery set that came out in 2011. I think it's still available. It's an OE mystery box set. I have a Pumbaa current mood. And then the last one is a Haunted Mansion carousel horse from the Kingdom Carousel Booster Pack that came out in 2017. So many trades this week, guys. It was amazing. The next one was an Instagram trade. I was able to complete a couple hidden Mickey sets, which is super awesome. Got a pin for Rocky and a couple Space Mountain pins for me. Both of the hidden Mickeys are from the 2019 Wave C release. The first one is Liver Lips from Country Bear Jamboree. And the other is Steamboat Willie from the Disney short films. One of our favorite rides in Disney World is the Rock and Roller Coaster. And they have this awesome guitar pick pin. Rocky has a small, small obsession with guitars. So I thought that he would really like this, so I traded it for him. It's just an OE pin that came out in 2016. Here's one of the Space Mountain pins and the other Space Mountain pin. I don't know if you guys have caught on at all, but I have a love for Haunted Mansion and Space Mountain. I love collecting all attractions, but those are my two major collections. Um, and this pin in particular, I may have a, a weird obsession. It's a little embarrassing, but uh, I, I'm, I might have a problem. But also if you have these for trade, let me know. We're just gonna stick this on right now. Right there. Yay! Ooh, I'm excited about this next one. Another Facebook trade. I traded three pins. Um, it was an open edition pin that came out around Christmas time last year. Super cute and sparkly with Mickey riding the North Pole Express. Next we have another hidden Mickey. This one is from Disneyland. This was the 2019 Wave B attraction set. And this is the Storybook Land Canal Boat Ride. Storybook Land Canal Boat Ride. Yeah. And the last one is Flounder from the Magical Mystery Balloon Set. Next up was a grab bag sale on Instagram, which I love doing those. I think they're so much fun. These particular grab bags that I got, a couple of the pins definitely fit in my collection, um, but it's a really good way to get traders you kind of spend the money so you've already spent the money and you don't really have a choice and so you don't feel as bad when you want to get rid of it <laughs> um, but I really like doing it because I'm able to learn about sets that I have never seen before or get some really good traders the first one is a limited edition 1500 from the droid depot and this is bb8 Next is a Lion King hot air balloon that's part of a mystery box that came out in 2014. The detail on this is really, really cool. All the little lines and design up in the top of the balloon is really cute. That's why I jumped all over this set when they first came out and I love all of them. Next up is a 2019 Easter pin. It's a limited edition of 3000. Uh, this next one, I already have the whole set. They came out in 2019. It's a limited edition kingdom console pin and this is the jungle book one so i'll definitely be using this as a trader but i absolutely love this set i think it's really cute i think it's a really smart pin it has a lot of different movement elements to it and i think they did a really good job with this pin set 
It's definitely one of my favorite pin sets from 2019. This grab bag that I got was from an Instagram seller, Pins and Palms, and at the top of every hour of their sale, they usually do four mystery grab bags. So I got one of them. They usually have a little sticky note in one or maybe two of them where you get an extra, like a bonus pin. And I happened to get the bonus pin. Um, and it's so cute. It's a super cute Paris pin, Slinky Dog. And it has a moving element, it slinks. Speaking of international pins, I did a trade for a couple um, of pins from Hong Kong. They are from a mystery box set that came out in 2012. Um, and they are popcorn and pretzels. And I'm working on the popcorn side of it. I, I have a thing about popcorn. And so I don't, I don't really love the pretzels. So I don't want the pretzel pins, but I do want all of the popcorn pins because they're super cute. I don't know about you guys, but I am a big fan of Phineas and Ferb, even as an adult. <laughs> I think the cartoon is hilarious. There used to be a game in Walt Disney World called Agent P's World Showcase Adventures, something like that. And Agent P is Perry the Platypus. You could go around Epcot and play this game. I never got to play it, um, which is a bummer, but they came out with a pin set for the game and they are really cute. So I got a couple of them. Uh, one of them is Agent P on a zip line. Um, and then the other is Dr. Doofenshmirtz. Doofenshmirtz? I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. It's a bummer they don't have the game anymore, but I did hear that it is being replaced and it will be DuckTales themed. So that's probably not gonna be bad. And I will play it. The last pin I got in this trade was a really cool aerial pin. I'd actually never seen it before until she sent me her traders and it was really, really cute. It has a dangle and just some really great coloring in it. It's definitely gonna be a, a good addition for my Little Mermaid board. Okay, we have another Instagram trade and this was from at Disney Girls and they are super sweet. She actually sent me two zaps, which was fantastic. It was really, really nice of her. So I had traded for um, another one of the Country Bear Jamboree Hidden Mickey pins. And now this one finishes that set completely. And a couple of um, Walt Disney World 45th anniversary pins. Kind of on a mission to collect some of those. And then she zapped me one of the balloons from the Magical Mystery pin set. And then a 1997 Magic Kingdom Castle pin, which was really cool. And I know those 45th anniversary pins looked very similar, but one was actually from a mystery box and one was from a booster pack. Okay, this is the very last one. Yee -hee -hee. I did another grab bag sale. I might have a problem. I love grab bag sales. These grab bags were made for me. I've talked about her before, but she's a great pin seller on Instagram. It's Snow Queen Bree. Anybody we talk about too, we'll link down below for you. So if you wanna go check them out, I highly recommend Snow Queen Brie. Let's see what's in here. So the first thing she sent were um, a pack of pin mail cards. I love her pin mail cards. She designs them all herself. And if you join one of her sales, you can also get them personalized. And it's a couple bucks more, but they're adorable. She also sells super cute stickers. And I got a Haunted Mansion lanyard. So just because we know already about my problem with the Space Mountain cutie, this was one of the stickers that I got. So these grab bags were, it's two grab bags and both were themed and the theme was attractions. So the first one is a pin from 1998. It's the new Tomorrowland logo pin. And this is from a series that included 67 different pins. It was a lot. But this was also before pin trading was a thing. Pin trading wasn't a thing until like 2000, 2001. Um, so these were just kind of on the rack at all the shops in Disneyland and, and pin trading wasn't, wasn't going on yet. So they released these 67 pins throughout the year in this series. This next pin came out in 2006. It's from the Walt Disney World 35 Magical Years Mystery Tin Set. And this one has Donald and Daisy riding Dumbo. Uh, next up, we have a 45th anniversary of Disneyland. So this came out in 2000. 
and it has the Fab Four. We now have a Fab Five. This is the Fab Four. Mickey, Donald, Goofy, and Pluto. I don't know why Minnie got kicked out of this. Doesn't make sense. In 2002, Disneyland came out with the Land series, and there are eight pins total, and they depicted each land within Disneyland. And this one is Tinkerbell for Fantasyland. Next is just a cute little Autopia pin that came out in 2001. It's just an open edition pin. It is my first Autopia pin though, so I'm pretty excited about that. This one's gonna go on the fast track to my attractions board. These grab bags were really cool. There's a lot of older pins in here that are a little bit harder to find, like this one. This is a Pirates of the Caribbean pin with Jack Sparrow, and a little bird, and he's in his little treasure room, sitting in his lounge chair, feet up on his treasure chest, with a ruby hanging out in his hand. So the very last pin I'm gonna show you is actually newer, it's from 2019. It's celebrating the 40th anniversary of Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. Um, it's a cast exclusive pin. It's an LE600 and it was available at the team center. The train moves. And that's it. That's all the pin mail for the week. It was a very busy week. I got some really, really cool stuff. Thank you to everybody who I traded with, the live sales that I purchased from. It's been a really awesome, 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 awesome pin mill week. If you enjoyed the content from today, hit like below. And Rocky and I are always looking for new fun topics to discuss. So if there's anything you want us to talk about, comment below. Keep it Disney, keep it PC. We're putting out new Disney pin and other Disney related content every week. So make sure to hit subscribe. Bye everyone. Thanks for watching.